Welcome back. Up until now, we've talked about Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code. Code editors that we had to install a bunch of plugins and extensions in order to customize it to what we want. And they work really well with a ton of different programming languages. The next one, though, is an IDE, and it's called PyCharm. And it's probably the most popular tool for Python developers. So I really, really like it. But it's an IDE. That is, unlike a code editor, it already comes pre-built with a lot of things. This company, JetBrains, makes it, and they focus purely on Python developers. So that is, if you're a Python developer, they really focus and make sure that all the tools you need to succeed are in here. Now, when you click on download now, you have two versions, the professional one, which you have to pay for, and the community one. So just download the community one. The professional one just comes with a few extra features that we don't really need. So download the community one. Just a heads up, it's a lot bigger. It's 315 megabytes. So again, it comes with a lot more tools for us to use. So it is a little bit heavier than Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text. But if you're a Python developer and you just want an environment where you can do everything in one place, PyCharm is the way to go. Now let's fast forward through this so that we're not waiting around for the download. Whew. All right. That was a long pause for me, but for you, with some editing, this should have been quick. All right, if I open this up now, again, if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, installation process will be different. In our case, because we are on a Mac, I just drag this to application. With Windows, you'll probably go through an installer. All right, it's all installed. Now, if I double click, PyCharm is going to open up for me. And we'll just make sure we allow it. Now, in my case, I had already a previous version of PyCharm that I've been using. And you might want to import your previous setting. But in our case, we've never used PyCharm before. And also, most likely, you want a fresh install. So even if you get this type of pop up, you can just click on Do Not Import Settings so you get a fresh slate. We're going to click OK. And there we have it. And right away, you can see that, well, it gives us a lot of options. Let's just say I've never used PyCharm before. And next, we get to choose our UI. Do we want Dracula, which is dark, or do we want light? Let's go with dark for now. So I'm going to skip the remaining and set defaults. So in PyCharm now, we can create a new project. Now in here, it asks us where we want to create our project. In my case, we can just leave it over here. We'll call it my project. And before we click create, make sure that you click on this project interpreter and double check that our base interpreter is using Python 3. Remember, if you're on a Mac or Linux, you might have Python 2 already installed. In our case, we installed our Python version 3.7 right here. So we make sure that this latest version of Python is what's being used as the interpreter. Now we can just click Create. And our project is going to start for us. We can close these tips. Every once in a while, you get tip of the day. Because this is an IDE, you get a lot of features that you can read about online. So it might take you a while to get used to PyCharm, but it is a very powerful tool. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Now, with my project here, I can right click, say new, and then select file. Our file, we'll just call it hihi.py. Click OK. And there we go. We have our first file opened up. And we can just, once again, say print. Now, this is definitely way too small. So I'm going to go to PyCharm, 
preferences. And here it gives you a ton of options to customize PyCharm to your liking. In my case, I want to make sure that I use, let's say, a custom font, but definitely increase the size to, let's go with 18. How's that? Let's apply. That's better. You know what? I want to even bigger. Let's do 20. I'm going to hit OK. All right, this side is now bigger. That's great. We can see it, but hmm, this is still tiny. I want this a little bit bigger, so let's fix that as well. We can fix this easily by pressing Command and then using the mouse wheel if you have a mouse or using two fingers and zooming in. Like so, if you're on a Windows machine, it'll be Control instead of Command and just zooming in and out as you like. Now, the interesting thing here with PyCharm, I know we have a ton of things that we might not be familiar with right now, but the key thing is that Python 3.7 is running our project. And if we type something like print, hey, hey, we get a ton of interesting things. First, we get a typo saying, hey, this whole hey, hey is uh, not an English word. If I add spaces, look at that. It even gives me typos of English words. But then I also have this yellow curly bracket or squiggly line. And it tells me pep8, no new line at the end of the file. This is something that we're going to talk about shortly when we talk about formatting our code. But if I add a new line, look at that. Everything is working smoothly. I get a nice little check mark. Now I can run this code by going to run and then clicking run. And you can see the shortcut command here as well. If I run this, ask me, hey, what do you want to run? Well, I want to run the new hi hi Python file. I click on this and look at that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. That's better. We see that our file is being run. The process finished with exit code zero. Zero is a good sign. It means there were no errors and everything is great. Now, if we make an error here, and let's say I miss my brackets and I hit run, or I can just click on run here. Look at that. It gives me an error saying, hey, 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 syntax error. Unexpected EOF while parsing and tells you something went wrong. So once again, I can fix it, run my code, and everything is good. There are a lot of features here that you can explore on your own, get comfortable with it. PyCharm is definitely a great IDE. And the beauty is that unlike Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code, where we had to install all these packages, PyCharm comes, well, with everything built in. It's an IDE. We don't have to install any of these packages. This environment is already set up for us to work professionally with Python because it is made for Python developers. I'll see you in the next one.